Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna be doing some testing with the Rocky Mountain Radar Judge, and we're gonna be testing pop detection. Now pop, for those of you guys who are not familiar with it, it's basically a very, very short burst of radar designed specifically to try and defeat radar detectors. Um, but unfortunately, there's a number of problems with it. I've done a number of videos already discussing POP in quite a bit of detail. If you want more information about POP, uh, just click this button up here and watch that video. Now, when it comes to uh, Rocky Mountain Radar, they generally advertise very good detection capabilities against POP. I've tested the previous top-of-the-line detector, the C495. That was completely ineffective at detecting POP. If you want to see that test, click this button up here. Now, in this video, we're going to be testing out the judge. Uh, let's see what Rocky Mountain Radar has to say about the judge specifically. They say that the radar detector uses microscan. Uh, it enables our detectors to scan two to four times faster than any other detector, which gives you a 100% probability of detecting pop radar, 100%. This technology is unique to Rocky Mountain radar detectors. Okay, let's find out how true this is. We're gonna be testing with not one, but two different pop radar guns. We're gonna be testing first with the MPHB3, is doing a 67 millisecond Ka band pop, and then we're going to be testing with the MPH Z35 that does a faster 16 millisecond K band pop. All right, so pop detection test against a 67 millisecond Ka band pop on the B3. I'm going to go through the menu, and you're going to see that there is no option for pop detection here in this detector. We've got our scrambler on, of course, but uh, if we keep flipping through, that's it. Unlike most detectors, again, no option for turning pop on or off, so we're just gonna run it. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and do a faster 16 millisecond pop on K-band with the MPH Z35. So, let's take a look at our settings. We'll start with the K-band filter on, which is usually how you'd run it. Scrambler's on, and no options for pop. All right, flash my headlights and he'll start. Pop, on, Flash the headlights from him, so he is done, and we got no alert. So no surprise, no detection. Uh, let's try this, make it a little bit easier. Let's turn that K-band filter off. Should give it uh, better performance on K-band, since it's not filtering stuff out. And let's see how it does. All right, up and running. Headlight flash, begin. Pop, on. Headlight flash from him, he's done, and surprise, surprise, no detection on a 16 millisecond pop either uh, from this Rocky Mountain Radar Judge. So as you can see, when it comes to pop detection, this guy's not so hot. It turns out it's not 100% detection capability, it's actually 0%. So pop, I mean, it doesn't matter at all to be able to detect pop, or pop in practice. Um, I don't care, honestly, if a detector can or can't. I mean, it's good as like a marketing thing, checkbox. Yay, we can detect pop, great, cool. Who cares ultimately? But the fact that they make such a big deal about it on their website, they always have. And with this one, they're claiming 100% pop detection capability. As you can see from the testing, it turns out it's 100% ineffective at detecting pop. So for those of you guys who are curious about that claim, there you go. Uh, if you want to see more testing with the Rocky Mountain Radar, uh, click any of the buttons on screen. You can take a look at more testing or links down in the video description for more information about the Rocky Mountain Radar Judge.